gasp for air. It's night out. You take a deep breath. It's cold outside, but you don't feel it because your blood is pumping and you're laying on top of him. You can feel his heart beating against your own heart. And he's sweating and you're sweating and you can feel the electricity, the lust. And you're laying on top of him and you touch his face with your hand. And then you bring your hand down on top of his face with a crunch and a crunch and a crunch and another crunch. And he's begging you to stop, but you will not stop. You will never stop. And even through this pounding of his face, with each punch of his face, it's being disfigured. His face is like putty. It's changing shape. You're disfiguring his entire face. His eyes are puffing up. You're breaking his nose. You feel the crunch, crunch, crunch. His teeth are being knocked out. His blood is everywhere. It's on his face. It's on your face. It's on your fists. But you will not stop. And you remember through all this punching to breathe. You can't even breathe. There's where his nose used to be. It's just a hole and there's a bubble of blood. And then you stop. You stop and you look at what you just did. You've pounded this criminal's face into oblivion. He's not dead, but he's right there at death's doorstep. You've punished him. You've avenged the poor, the victim, the innocent, you've avenged them. You've pounded this man's face to a bloody pulp. No one would recognize him now. You can't even see that he was even a human. Where there was eyes, there's just bloody slits. Where there's nose, it's his nose is bent to the left. Teeth are missing, blood, pus, saliva. And you just breathe in that night air. And you can't see because there's some blood in your own eye. So you reach up to try to wipe off the blood off your face. But you can't feel your face. You can't feel your face. Why can't you feel your face? It's because you're wearing a mask an armor mask. You're protecting your face, your skull, the back of your head. And you feel this face. You know you wear a mask. This isn't news to you, you know it. But you feel it. And you can't wipe off blood with bloody gloves, so in this moment where you feel safe, you take your gloves off. And with your clean hands, you feel this bloody mask this armor shell protecting and no one's around and there's no cameras and you're in the darkness and you decide to take your mask off so you can wipe the blood from your eyes and you reach your mask and you feel these two pointy tips these are your ears but you usually put the mask on with gloves so you never feel it you never feel it with your bare hands, so you feel these two sharp points, these two bat ears that you've made part of this mask, this costume, this charade. And so you grab, you grip with both your hands, these two sharp bat ears, and you take your mask off. Why? Why? Why do you do this? Because they killed my fucking family. They killed everyone. They took from me everything, everyone. They killed my father. They killed my mother. I was just a boy. I was just a boy. Yeah, but you're fucking rich, bro. You're rich, so it doesn't matter. You have so much money. You have so much money. You're a billionaire. 
they left you everything, so you, don't cry. You know how many people out there have it worse than you? Their parents are dead. You know how many orphans there are? You know how many uh, kids get adopted and they have shit? At least you have money. You have money, 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 money. I don't care about the money. I would trade all the money in the world to have my family back for just a day. For an hour to see my mom's face again. You took everything from me. When you took my mother and you took my father, you took my joy. You took my safety. You took everything. Everything that was precious to me. So I will avenge. You hurt me. When On that day when you took from me, you hurt me. And I don't like being hurt. And so I will never, ever be hurt again. You will never hurt me. I will never get hurted. I will be the hurt-er. I will hurt you. I will hurt you. I will hurt myself to hurt you. I will hurt myself to hurt you. I am hurt inside in my soul. To my very core I am hurt. You stole from me. You robbed from me. You took from me. You took from me love. You took from me safety and security and compassion and humor and everything that my parents and my family meant to me. And no one will ever do that again. So I will avenge the meek, the innocent, the poor, the victims, and I will become the victimizer. I will train every day 100 push-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 push-ups. I can feel, I can feel myself getting swole. My biceps are getting huge. Pull-ups, pull-ups, reverse pull-ups. How much you bench, bro? More than you. I can bench press more than you. Squat, squat, squats. I can do all this shit all day. Crossfit, bro. Crossfit. Billy Banks, Tai Po. Jiu Jitsu, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Gracie, bitch. I do all of it. Jeet Kune Do, Bruce Lee, bitch. Come at me, bro. I know it all. Kicking my shins, kicking my shins, kicking my shins, kicking my shins. It's a fucking tree. I'm kicking my shins. I'm kicking my shins. I'm kicking my shins. You will never, ever hurt me. I just fucking knocked a tree down with my fucking shins. You will never. I am the master. I'm a ninja master. Ninjas don't even exist anymore. And I'm a ninja master. I know all that shit. Hot Keto, Tai Chi, Jeet Kune Do. I know all of him. Tai Bo. Joe Sando, I know all the does. I know all the does. I've waxed on, off, all that shit. You will never, ever fucking hurt me again. Oh, you're rich. What are you going to do with your money? You're going to help the poor? You're going to start a nonprofit? No. Weapons. Weapons. I got this belt. I got a fucking helmet that has 5G, that has the best Wi Fi. I can talk to anyone. I can do anything. I'm protected. I have gloves, armored helmet, cape, bulletproof cape. You know how much that shit costs? I have a fucking jet ski, helicopter. You know how many goddamn cars I have? I have a warehouse full of cars. I have 27 cars. Armor, fucking bullets, armor, fucking bulletproof tires, bulletproof windows. You know how much that shit, that, you know how much shit that costs? Billions. Billions of dollars. I have a fucking tank. You will never hurt. How are you going to hurt someone who has a tank? You can't. I dress up as a bat. What you got on me, bro? Nothing. I do whatever the fuck I want. I wear a cape. I got a tank. I got a fucking tank. And when and the tank fucking transforms and it opens and a car shoots out of the tank and then the fucking car opens up and a motorcycle shoots out of that and then the motorcycle transforms into a fucking helicopter. That shit cost me $1.7 billion to make that shit. You will never fucking hurt me. Oh, you have something that can blow up a tank? How are you going to catch a fucking flying motorcycle? You can't, bitch. You can't. 
I can fucking fly. These wings, whoosh, I can do anything. I've trained. I can feel the burn in my body all the time. I train so fucking hard. You know how many fucking calories I gotta eat to fucking make up for that? I gotta eat cows. Cows, bro. Because you hurt me. You stole from me. You victimized me. And you will never hurt me again. You will never hurt me again. I don't care that I dress like a bat. I don't care that I've turned my body into a weapon. I don't care that I've used all my finances to create weapons of mass destruction. I do it so that you will never hurt me again. I've sacrificed my life. I've sacrificed finding joy, happiness, stability, all to punish you. And I end up punishing myself. I don't allow myself. I'm working all the time. I'm working on my lies, my secret identity. I'm tired. I live in a cave. I live in a fucking cave, man. I don't want to live in a cave. It's cold and it's wet. And I'm tired. I don't want to fucking pound a guy's face in anymore. I have friends. I have, I'm friends with the guy who talks to fish. How cool is that? That guy's my friend. I can call him anytime. He has an underwater phone. I'm friends with Wolverine. He doesn't even live in my universe. I'm friends with a guy that pops claws out of his fist from another dimension. We have so much in common. We don't ever talk. I have so much in common with that guy. I'm in fr I'm friends with Superman. I, the guy is the most superest man in the world. I'm, these guys are awesome. I'm friends with Wonder Woman. She's so beautiful and brave and smart and talented. I have friends. I don't have to live like this. I don't have to be by myself. I can love. I can choose love instead of the darkness. I'm going to take my helmet off. And with all my training, I'm breaking the bad ears off my mask right now. I just broke broke the bat ears off and I'm stomping, I'm curb stomping my own mask. And it's taking a while because it's so armor protected. I just, I will never wear that mask again. I will never put my ninja star shooting gloves on again. I'm taking my belt off with a million gadgets and guns and secret weapons. I'm ripping the bat emblem off my chest. <sighs> I'm taking off all my clothes. And I'm gonna sit on this gargoyle, cross-legged. I'm butt naked outside. The weather is nice. <sighs> Superman, if you can hear me. Which I know he can because he has super hearing. Please go to the bat cave where I keep multiple reserves of millions of dollars in gold, gold coins, gold bars, cash, and at super speed, please disperse them to every person who needs it on the planet. Give all my money away. Leave a little bit enough for me to live, and the rest of it just please give give away. I want to help everybody. First and foremost, this guy who I just beat, get him the best plastic surgeon, get him the best medical help, and, 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 you know, all the toys and weapons, garage sale, Batmobile, garage sale, tank, garage sale, swap meat prices, out the door, more than 50% off. I have chosen hardness over soft. I've cho chosen herder instead of peace. I've chosen to fight instead of peace. I'm not gonna fight anymore. The only fight that's left is the fight for love. I'm gonna let go. I'm gonna let the universe, I can't control. 
I wanted to control the crime rate. I wanted to control people hurting people. Hurt people hurt people. And I'm hurt. And I'm telling you that right now. You killed everyone. You took everything from me. And so you turned me into this thing. But I'm not going to be this thing anymore. I'm going to let go. There's people who like me. I'm going to spend time with my friends, my family, Alfred, my butler, my protector, my caretaker. I've mistreated him, taken him for advantage, taken him for granted. I'm going to send him on a nice vacation. We're going to do couples therapy together. I'm going to start seeing a therapist. I'm going to start being honest with who I am and my feelings. And I'm going to stand up now. And even though I'm naked, I'm not afraid. The world turned and twisted. It's strange. Something created a person that would kill and shoot my family. And that in turn turned me into someone who goes out and beats people to a bloody pulp. And I'm not going to do that anymore. That's not my job. My job isn't to go out and hit people. I never need to use my shins, my impressive shins and my fists ever again. I'm going to use love. I'm going to use hugs. And I'm going to be honest. And I'm going to speak openly. And I'm going to communicate. I'm going to work on my communication skills. I'm the world's greatest detective. So I know. I know everything except my own heart. I know everything except for my own heart. My head and my heart are so disconnected that my mind is all intelligentsia, facts, numbers, clues. That doesn't get me any closer to my heart. I have friends. I don't have to live in a cave. I can come out to the light. I'm friends with a man who talks to fish. I don't have to dress up like a bat anymore. I can let go. I didn't realize how late it was. The sun's coming up now. I think I'm going to sit here a little while longer. Just close my eyes and feel the sun over my whole body. And let all the blood and scars just melt away. Listen to the birds chirping. You are enough, Bruce. You are enough. You are worthy. You are deserving of love. You don't ever need to do anything again. You don't have to protect anyone. You don't have to hit anyone. You don't have to hurt anyone. You don't have to hurt yourself. You are enough. You are worthy. Alfred loves you. Your adopted son, Robin, loves you. Robin loves you. Catwoman loves you. Even the Joker loves you. Two-Face loves you. The Penguin loves you. The Killer Croc loves you. Poison Ivy loves you. Harley Quinn loves you. Alfred loves you, and most importantly, you love you. You are enough. You don't have to do anything to deserve love. You are enough. Your dead parents would be so proud of you. You are enough. <laughs>